Simone and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be more so like a vlog type um, video about this hair. I do have a whole breakdown of what this hair is and like the process that I use to do it. It is going to be at the very end of this video but for now let's vlog about it. So I have been cleaning up and trying to cook as to why this video is going to be like this. Um, this is my hair with nothing on it like literally bonnet cap came off i fluffed it out and that's it so i'm currently taking out out the trash so i decided to bring y'all here with me um this hair has been amazing you let's go the dog part. go winter winter is like my protector even though she be running like me protector even though Winter is a runner like me. My first my, my lips show ashy, y'all. Excuse the ashiness of my lips and my hands. Even though she's a runner like me, she um, tries to protect me. Okay, so back to this hair. Ashy? Why I like that? But anyway, if you want to skip to the edge of this video or the end of this video, then you definitely can. Um, this wig has been so easy. Um, I definitely would get this hair again because it has been so i don't easy. necessarily think i would have to get it again for a while because it is human hair it's malaysian it is 14 inch i did cut a little bit because some of the some of the front seemed like a little straggly to me and so i wanted this to kind of be like a even cut if y'all could tell i cut it even honey um yeah so i cut it even and um i plucked a little bit at the front y'all will see that in the video at the end um is there much to say about this not week? really um honestly not really it was it was pretty easy i i washed it i plucked it i cut it a little bit i used some products in it that you'll see at the end of the video um i got this wig from timu so excited because everybody i mean everybody has been talking about timu y'all and i just have not got on the train and decided to just buy a ticket one day and i was like let me buy this ticket for timu because everybody's been talking about this website i have not purchased anything on it i see people who do like timu hauls and stuff like that because i get on youtube very frequently and watch different people but I was like, I don't want to order an off scene you, but I decided to get on that train. And now I'm on the train and I got two wigs, actually. I got this one and another one. So if you want to see what the other one looks like, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel, follow my social media platforms. I leave everything down below. Um, if you have questions about this particular wig, make sure you drop them down below and I'll make sure to answer them. Um, so yes, yeah. so much warmer in here than it is out there. So, I'm going to keep talking to y'all in here while I'm currently watching this. Do y'all watch this show? I absolutely love that show. I am so far behind. So, while I catch up, you all watch the clip at the end of this video to let you know all of the details of this hair. Like I said, if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Comment down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Deuces. Hey you guys, what's up? It is your girl, Latricia Simone, and I am here to tell you all about this Malaysian curly lace front wig, which happens to be human hair. It is a 13 by 6 tea part, and I got it off of Timu. Now, I had been seeing a lot of Instagram videos, a lot of TikTok videos about um, people getting hair off of Timu. First of all, people getting everything off of Timu. Let's just start there. I mean, they're ordering school supplies, hair, shoes, cl clothes, everything is on their website. So I had to join in. Okay, I had to see what the fuss is about so right now i'm just kind of showing you all the construction of the wig it comes with the two combs in the front one comb at the back the adjustable straps the wig was very very soft um i got it in 14 inch as well i didn't want it to be too long so this side i decided to pluck 
and this side is non-plucked. So I'm basically showing you all what the difference is. I didn't have to pluck a lot of hair, but because I wanted to wear it either up or down, I decided to go ahead and pluck. So this is the finished plucking. Now, you know, I'm not a hairstylist, okay? So don't come for it, okay? I have to wash my wig, of course. Of course, you want to wash your hair when you get it and then let it air dry. This is the look air dried. The curls are so so pretty y'all they were very tight curls that malaysian curl look i absolutely loved it so then i began to style when i style my wigs i use mousse regular mousse any type of mousse you want and then i also put on um leave-in conditioner which is by let me see who this is by y'all um garnier fruitis Oh, y'all, I'm messing it up. I already know. Sleek and shine. Anyway, it's leave-in conditioner. I've always used it on my hair because if you just use water on your hair, it eventually dries up. For me, it does. And the curls don't stay. It eventually gets puffy. And I am not with that puffy look. I want mine to look wet and wavy all day. So this is what it looked like whenever I got done putting my product in it. I styled it, put me a little cute little bun up there, gross, and I was ready to go out of the door. This is the finished product and what it looked like, and I absolutely love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let me know what you all think down in the comments below. Don't you understand? Love, love.